They had their entire lives ahead of them. Birthdays, graduations, weddings, kids of their own. The shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School in 2012 shook the country to its core. And from that day forward, fundamentally changed the way law enforcement and now everyday citizens approach the unimaginable. When you first get there, you got a lot going on. The FBI partnered with a program known as ALERT, or Advanced Law Enforcement Rapid Response Training, to help standardize the response to active shooters across federal, state, and local levels. This is what law enforcement training for active shooters looks like right now. You can see them coming down the hallway. They're trying to identify the threat. They hear those shots. They know that they have to progress down this hallway. It was important to make sure that everybody received the same training, knowing that if that response occurs, it's going to be an, a, again, multiple agency response. It all comes down to minimizing that time to get in front of the actor. But all of this is once police get there. What about before? On an average of three minutes, that, those cops are going to show up and they're going to take the shooter's attention from you towards them. The other major shift in response is putting the training in the hands of those who could be experiencing the shooting. Those three minutes belong to you. They do not belong to the shooter. For an average of three minutes, it's up to you to survive. That means strategies on everything from when to run to when running may not be an option. The FBI says there were 30 active shooter events in 2017, which set a record. It's why training like this, grab it, and this, movement down the hallway on the right, continues. All of it stemming from a dark day in American history, and all of it from the hope that every possible step is taken to save lives. I'm Omar Jimenez reporting.